Hey guys, Noor here, once again with another video of Alan Wake the second. So it's kind of the Halloween season at the moment. I decided to play a Halloween game. Never done this before on the channel, but we are going to do the story game Alan Wake the second. Before we start the game, I don't know if there's going to be a recap of the first game, but let's have a look at the story so far. So the story of Alan Wake. So Alan Wake went missing in 2010. He came face to face with a force of supernatural darkness. Wake wrote an ending to his horror story and with that, freed his wife from the darkness under the lake but became trapped there himself. Okay, so looks like a spooky one here. Alan Wake is not dead, although he has wished he was many times. For 13 years, he has been fighting to stay sane and write a story that would change reality around him in order for him to escape. So far, he has failed. All right. It kind of looks like a horror, kind of a detective game. But I'm kind of excited to play this one. Cool. Let's go to normal. Let's keep it kind of interesting. I don't want to make it too dark so you guys can't see anything. But it should be fine for now. It should be fine. We are going to play to on... the beginning. Mm, okay. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Okay. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Interesting. Very, very interesting. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Okay, so the story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. All right. So it looks like we're in the lake for now. Yes, we are somewhere in a lake. Okay. Some random guy crawling. What is happening? Okay, so we're playing as a naked man. <laughs> Alright, guys. Not the beginning I was thinking. Uh, we're, we're, yeah, so as I was saying, we are going to play on keyboard and mouse. I am trying to get better with keyboard and mouse. I'm mostly a controller player, especially for first person shooters. But let's get into this. Very, very spooky, actually. Ooh. Is this Alan? No, come on, come back. Already gone. Come back. Can this old man buy him? No, he can't. I'm pretty sure he won't be able to. I'm gonna have to go through the long way. Okay. Okay. Calm down. It's, what's with all the noises? Okay. All right, we got this. We got this. Okay, just don't stare at the butt. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Is this? This has to be Alan, but old. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Alan. I hope it's not. I mean, look, he's not even. I can sprint. I love the graphics. It's not even the highest graphics. I have a 3070 Ti graphics card, and it, it's pretty good. Oh. Okay. Let's focus. Less talking, more doing. Oh, 
please, 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 man. Please. Okay, we have help. Oh my god, never mind. Never mind. Oh, bro, come on. Oh. For real? I'm gonna just... No, no. I'm dead. So that just happened, literally, right in front of me. No way! So we've got the cult of tree. Jesus! Oh my God! This is. I kind of want to turn off the lights now. It's actually getting very spooky. You know, I think this is better. I hope you guys can still see me. All right. We're starting, guys. We are starting. Alan Wake, second. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Alright. Got a mom here. But a detective friend. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Really love the graphics. This is literally like a movie, guys. I'm gonna get into the story. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Hey. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Are the lips moving after the words? In either case. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Go down. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. That's the FBI. Alright. FBI after cases. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. So this is chapter one, invitation. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. The motion blur is kind of getting sicky. <laughs> Alright, so we have it. Okay. You're the one who wanted 
just sweep. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. I wonder if I should turn off the motion blur, guys. Give me a second here. Hey, over here. All right. The turn. I just turned off the load or the ray tracing because it was kind of hey missing some frames. Pacing, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. All right. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. <laughs> My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Well, kind of looks like it. What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Uh, kind of did. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. <laughs> Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. All right, so I could use the briefing. Let's take a look at the body. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be well you know inside yep i can say that i've seen that we've all seen that i want to see the body how do we get there oh sure that's real simple just through the hole in the fence down the hill towards the lake around the old convenience store you can't miss it everything's what? been closed since the area was fenced off the store the campground all of it I kind of want to see Thornton now. Alright. Let's get into it. Let's scout the area. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay. So we're gonna be able to... Oh. The mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay, so this is kind of on the board. inside Saga's or Anderson's brain, it looks like. So this is Cauldron Lake. A beautiful kind of lake. No hiking areas, but trails I can see. Let's have a look at the Everything case board. Everything we know about the previous murders. So these are the Worth previous. Worth taking another okay. look. All right. So the case board is a mental technique that shows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Awesome. You are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing the escape. Okay. So Ted, a dentist, stab one, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Sad. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Suspicious. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, hard removed, strange tattoos. Is this the old man that was stabbed in the beginning? All bodies experience bloating. Ooh. Deep gash in the chest, heart missing, bruising on the wrists, on the wrists and legs. Murder methods, slight difference in murder, bloating. Okay. Potion Lake murder. I really am digging this game so far all right what else do we have here oh we have the map this is where we are this is the murder site okay no cases at all i see you're already hard at work anderson close to cracking it mm. we're just getting started let's head down the hill to the crime scene important information there guys so if we go to the Fucking mine place nature we might still get attacked so we gotta headache. be very careful about that one. Sky. I forgot what my friend's name is. Oh. Ah. 
Let's just keep going. Hey Casey. Oh, it's, his name you is put Casey. in okay. charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real oh. funny, Anderson. Is that a foreshadowing? That Casey probably is gonna die? I hope not. I mean, is the first Alan Wake, I never Stairs played it. Out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. I didn't play the first one, but we got the grips of the story. So we're gonna do pretty okay, I feel like. You're Sorry, did not mean to press that. Like I said, keyboard and mouse, not my thing. But I do love playing with keyboard and mouse, that's for sure. Okay, it's pretty quiet for now, guys. Not to worry about it. We are going to be okay. Yeah, like I said, a couple of trails. Nope, this is how Banff... Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Oh. Anderson. We'll call her Anderson. Or Saga. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. I love this trail. The general store. What's happening there? What is happening here? Hey! How is this a okay, yeah, it is a kind of a very sketchy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. This guy's... Yeah, not the brightest of the oh. stars. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's choking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Oh my we? god, this guy's not really smart. I mean, no offense. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No Don't go around. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place them on the case board inside the mine place. Okay. So it allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with. Okay, and place on the case board. Another body turns okay. up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Awesome. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Consistent with previous murders. Objects that are viewable at the case board in your roles. Let's go back. You can collect clues from the body to progress. The okay. killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. So what do I do here? Just, okay, just put it there. Is there an order? Okay, yeah, well. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. 
definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues are resolved. The open questions and unlock a new deduction. As you advance investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Anywho. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Go here and then. I hope I'm just putting them in the right places. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Interesting. Well, let's see if we have more stuff here around. Okay. Someone left tripod? in a hurry. Is Knock it? the tripod yeah. over. Was it for a camera? Someone okay. was drinking Cooler beer. As well. They the spent beers. time here. Waiting. Any more clues around? Oh yeah, we do have more clues. Yeah, footprints. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers. Ooh. All right, back here. Bootprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the oh, party. The letter. Okay. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. We can be discovered by speaking to people as well. Okay. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. It's kind of sad, actually. All right, we've got more clues. So Nightingale. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay, so we've got a, an FBI. A couple more items to put here. There you go. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why 13 here? years? That's a long time, why now? guys. If you really think about it... So Victim came from. Okay. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the head of sus suspects and victims. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. That's Agent very creepy. has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. 
You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. That's Robert interesting. Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. All right, so we've got more information. Nightingale came from Cauldron Lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Yep. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Gordon, you just stay there, nice and easy. We are just going to go and see the lake. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. I they were waiting fit. for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's kind of not feel that like, complicated. Uh, Nightingale was Nightingale was out in the drunk. woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. What is this? The job is unfinished. Hmm, I don't know. Well, that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots Which of questions. Which is Lattle? Lots of answers for us to find. Bro. I didn't know trees got that big. Excuse this is creeps. huge. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Yeah, a couple footprints. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Barefoot? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. All right. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. Interesting. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Wait, what? I think Alan being stuck in the other world. Let's Someone's call it. Watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Okay, so... I should profile Nightingale about this page. Yeah, for sure. Um... Looks like Alan is playing games. Well, modifying the story. Oh, has gone cold. Then we have some bare footprints. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Okay. So the killer is watching us. Game on. The page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Oh. I must find out what. Yeah. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. 
I believe it. But well, we are purpose? finding more, that's for sure. They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't Look how let beautiful it drag the game is, guys. Oh. Too late. I'm already Alright, so there's a cult the of the tree chapter. who murders people, and then we have Alan Wake on the other side changing the story. And probably he's the one who left that page because it was saying old typer kind of style, hey, so you made it back. Good. Alright. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Yeah, Deputy, I guess. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Yeah, take the car Let's back the car. to the drive to Bright Falls hole. and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, um, I could use a cup of coffee. About that Let's guy. try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. It's such an old car. I like it. I really like it. Hey guys, Nuri from the future here. I have cut the video a little bit shorter. It is a long one, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And comment down below if you guys are enjoying Alan Wake the second. Thanks for watching. And as always, this has been Nuri. Spread your peace and your love. And I will catch you guys on the next one.